You study math for hours. You do everything right. Read the textbook, highlight the formulas, even watch explainer videos. But still, your mind gets anxiety and goes blank in the exam. Frustrating, right? Now here's the crazy part. Students in Asia seem to do the exact same math and really dominate. Top of the class, acing Olympiads, solving problems you didn't even know existed. What's their secret? Is it genetics, tiger parents, or have we been learning math all wrong? Welcome back to Easy Way, actually, where we take big ideas and make them simple. Today, we're diving into the Asian approach to studying math. How they don't just understand it, they internalize it until it becomes second nature and crush the exam. And don't worry, you don't need to move to Shanghai or hire a private tutor. I've done the research for you. In this video, I'll break down the eight powerful science-backed Asian secret techniques that make your math click even with limited IQ. Let's go step by step. And yes, you can start applying these today. Step one, active practice, don't just watch, do. First, Bruce Lee once said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Passive learning won't cut it. Watching videos or highlighting formulas won't make math stick. Asian students practice actively. You don't learn math by watching, you learn math by doing. They don't just solve problems, they solve the same problem in three different ways. You heard that right. One question, three methods. Why? Because each approach locks the concept deeper in your brain. Think of it like exercising your brain muscles. Every time you challenge it, it grows stronger. The next Asian secret to studying math effectively is step two. Master the basics. Build a rock-solid foundation. Asians focus on fundamentals. Little by little, one travels far. Skipping the basics is like building a skyscraper on sand. While most students focus on calculus or trigonometry to feel smart, Asian students focus on fractions, multiplication tables, long division, the fundamentals. They spend weeks, sometimes months, ensuring these basics are second nature. Once the foundation is strong, advanced topics like calculus or algebra become easier to tackle. Step three, notebook method. Turn mistakes into your teachers. Here's a trick almost nobody talks about. Dedicated math notebooks. One side for solving problems, the other for mistakes. Every error is analyzed. Why did it happen? Carelessness, misunderstanding, rushing? Mistakes aren't failures, they're feedback. Treating errors as learning opportunities turns each mistake into a stepping stone for mastery. Step four, repetition, drill after understanding. You've probably heard, don't memorize, understand. That's true, but Asian students take it further. First understand, then drill. Break formulas down, know what they mean, then solve multiple variations until the concept becomes automatic. By the time they see a problem in an exam, their brain has already solved 10 versions of it. So it's effortless. Repetition is the mother of learning, the father of action, which makes it the architect of accomplishment. Step five, timed practice. Speed meets accuracy. Practicing under pressure is key. Solve 15 problems in 10 minutes as if you're in a real test. It trains your brain to think fast and accurately under stress. By turning practice into a challenge, you sharpen your reflexes, manage stress, and prepare for any tricky question the exam throws at you. Step six, teach back method. Explain to understand. Here's a powerful trick, teach what you learn. Asian students don't just study, they teach. They explain concepts to siblings, friends, or even imaginary students. Teaching forces you to articulate every step, revealing gaps in your understanding. When you can explain a concept clearly, you've truly mastered it. Step seven, daily consistency. Small steps every day, forget cramming. Even 20 minutes of daily practice beats three hours once a week. Consistent exposure rewires your brain, making math part of your daily routine. It's not a chore or a threat. It's just what you do every day. Because consistency beats intensity. As James Clear emphasizes, small steady actions compound into extraordinary results. Success is the sum of small efforts, repeated day in and day out. Step eight, error tracking. Have you ever cursed yourself for making silly mistakes in exams again and again? You're not alone, we've all been there. Success in math isn't about being naturally smart. It's about having the right systems. Asian students keep a dedicated mistake logbook, review it weekly and ensure they never repeat the same errors, even small ones like forgetting a unit, a plus or minus sign, or a formula. Facing mistakes head-on is one of the fastest ways to improve. Failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. So here's the choice. You can keep cramming, stressing, and forgetting, 
or you can start applying these methods today and actually dominate math. Try one of these steps right now and comment below which one worked best for you. If you want more science-backed learning strategies for math, make sure to subscribe to EasyWay actually and check out the next video where I'll share easy-to-implement high-level math techniques. See you there!